Hi, welcome to another introductory video to help you to get to grips with the new tools from Faith Life that we're investing in for our church members. Uh, we've looked at our Faith Life app, which shows us the communication side and the family side, how we can share things together and how we can access uh, more things together and get together around one another online as a community. But today I want to show you the eBooks app. Um, Previously shown the Study Bible app, they are very similar, but the advantage of the ebooks is you can keep your Study Bible open at the place that you left it, um, whilst also reading other um, material on the ebooks app. So let me go along this. This is again available in your App Store by Faith Life. Let me click into ebooks. Let me, excuse me, go to the menu first. Here in the menu, you'll find that you have 401 uh, resources, ebooks that you can access. Um, on a variety of different topics. I'm going to show you how best to um, navigate through this because they're all just done in alphabetical at the moment. So you can see the range of things that's in here and find something that I'm sure would be helpful for you. Uh, also, you can use the search function. If you know what you're looking for, um, you can search and access it directly from there. Um, but one of the powerful things to show you is the filter button. So there's a filter button to the right of the search um, the search library dialog box there. If you click into that, you'll be able to filter those 400 courses, uh, sorry, 400 resources um, by either the type of subject uh, or the type of resource that they are. So here you can see in the resources section that uh, over 250 of these items are actually uh, courseware, they're actually material, um, video material by um, great theologians and scholars on a variety of subjects. Now I'm gonna save a, a, a separate video to talk you through those because there's so much there. Um, but you might say, well, I'm not looking for a theological professor-led uh, course. I'm just interested in seeing um, what can help me get to grips with the Bible more. Well, the two most exciting aspects of this are Bible commentaries and monographs. Monographs just simply is more like a book that you would read cover to cover. So let's have a look. At, let's filter by uh, monograph and have a look in there. You can see 54 things come up there. Now, some of the things here are, are, are for preachers. It's the 300 quotations and prayers for Christmas quotes for preachers, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, but first of all, a, a reflection on 40-day reflection from great thinkers on, on the cross. Amazing to be able to study that. Uh, there's an incredible book I've started looking at on Abraham following God's promise, how um, we can uh, learn to be encouraged in our faith through the journey of Abraham. Books by John Piper there on the role of C.S. Lewis. Um, the Bible in the real world, 31 inspiring individuals about how the Bible has transformed things in the real world. Um, the Bible Unfiltered, helping us approach scripture on its own terms. A how to guide on doing Bible word studies. 40 day uh, guide to life in Christ. Again, amazing, amazing devotional resource. Also, there's some really old but really amazing um, stuff here. There's the Confessions of Augustine. I think later on you see that there's also Thomas Akempis, Imitations in Crisis, amazing devotional content. There's also some novels, Christian novels. So if you're interested in reading Christian novels, here is uh, The Covenant, uh, a book, uh, Abraham Daughter's book uh, number one by Beverly Lewis. I think there's three uh, novels like that in here. Uh, there's a commentary there on 2 Corinthians, an amazing book on cultural engagement for Christians every square inch. It's quite a small book and I've, I've read it uh, thoroughly um, would recommend anyone reading that really on how we should as a church be part of transforming the culture around us. So I'll leave that for you to scroll through 54 uh, different books on a variety of topics there. Um, but let me just go and have a look more in depth in those Bible commentaries. You see we've got, a, I think there's 10 Spurgeon commentaries in here, but there's also a commentary series, which is actually a Bible study um, called Not Your Average Bible Study. So we've been in 1 Peter recently, so let's have a look at that Bible study. As you go in there, it's got an introduction, how to use it, and then part one, you've got a variety of different lessons. Let's, uh, one of my favorite things about being priesthood of all believers, let's look at lesson seven there. Um, invites you to pray, invites you to read the passage, and then comes up with some questions. And you're able to actually type in the answers to your question here and have it stored there on your Faith Life profile as part of this ebook collection. So it takes you to different passages. Uh, because of the power of the software, you can click on anything that's blue and it's a hyperlink. And so, oops, excuse me. And so if you click on Matthew there, the actual passage comes up. If you want to jump to that passage in a Bible, you can do so. It can bring the Bible up. And again, like the study Bible, you can set it uh, such that you have a study Bible open on the same page. Let me just show you how to do that. If I go to the middle uh, button on the bottom menu, the one that says a little number five, that's just showing the different tabs that I've got open. 
So you can see that's the Bible study that we were just in. We are refugees. You can, uh, let's show you how to open a new page. You can open a new page. Uh, let's say we want a Bible. There's a Bible button on the bottom left here. You can click uh, your Bible button. It will bring up the Bible you've got open, which is the English Standard Version. And here you see I've got a Faith Life Study Bible connected to it. Um, again, let's go back to the layout. You can see this in the layout. You see that you are able to um, link different uh Bibles or different resources together. So you see there's a link button on the top left hand corner. I know this is a bit confusing. This has linked those two tabs together. Uh, let me show you a different thing how we can do that. So let's let's add a new Bible. So search, I'm gonna get rid of that filter. I'm gonna search for the uh, Lexham English Bible. A Lexham English Bible there. And then you can see in the top right there, there's a little split button. I can split that page and that enables me to open a different resource there. So that might be a commentary. In this case, it's the study Bible. So I'm going to say open from there. And then I'm going to search for the Faith Life Study Bible, which is the one that's included with your package. You can see it open, uh, but more importantly, now you can link the two together such that when you scroll your top Bible, your study Bible will go to exactly the same place. So I press the link button and I link the two tabs together. Now, if I go into there, it's at Philippians 4.12 at the bottom. And there you go. Philippians is now loading up in the bottom menu, along with lots of other resources that are in the study Bible. So here's a, a video that I can click into there and you will see... The ruins in Thessalonica. Isn't that amazing? So hopefully you enjoy getting to grips with this power as you get to learn the software through these amazingly advanced mobile apps. Thanks for your time and I'll see you soon.